In this video, you'll see a simple procedure for extracting DNA using materials you can find at home. I'll be using tomatoes, but you can try this with lots of other soft, fresh fruits. You can also try this procedure with frozen fruit, just make sure to let it thaw overnight in the fridge. To prepare the extraction mixture, we'll need some roughly chopped tomato, cold tap water, table salt, a clean bowl and fork, and a fine strainer and cup. You may also need some assorted measuring cups and spoons. Start by mashing one quarter cup of the chopped tomato for about 30 seconds. Then add half a cup of cold water, and 1 8 teaspoon of table salt. Continue mashing and mixing for another 90 seconds before straining the extraction liquid into a clean container. To extract the DNA, we'll need the strained liquid from the previous step, a clear container in which to perform the extraction, in this case I'm using a small plastic cup, some liquid detergent, a source of protease, and 99% rubbing alcohol. Start by transferring one quarter cup of the strained liquid into the small plastic cup. Add one tablespoon of the liquid detergent and stir very gently for five to 10 seconds. Now we wait for 5 to 10 minutes for the detergent to break down the cell and nuclear membranes and release the DNA. After waiting for 5 to 10 minutes, we can gently mix in a little bit of protease to help protect the DNA from degradation. I'm using a little pinch of powdered meat tenderizer, but you could also try a couple drops of protein removing contact lens cleaner or even pineapple juice. If you don't have any sources of protease at home, you can skip this step. The last step is to precipitate the DNA by carefully pouring cold 99% rubbing alcohol down the side of the container so that it forms a layer on top of the extraction mixture. You should keep adding alcohol until you have roughly equal amounts of alcohol and extraction mixture. You should be able to see the DNA precipitating at the interface between the layers almost immediately. If left undisturbed for 10 to 20 minutes, the DNA strand should become more visible in the alcohol layer. Now that you've seen extracting DNA at home involves just a few simple steps, we hope you've been inspired to give it a try.